Hello, this is Lachmi Kantiwari. Today we are going to learn how to convert the C language into the ARM assembly language. So let's start with the first of all that a simple for loop. Suppose that you have given a for loop for R0 is equal to 0 and R0 is less than 10 and then R0 plus plus. Now you are adding this natural number into the R1 that is the R1 is equal to the R1 plus R0 fine. So the it is just a simple natural number addition. Okay. So now we need to convert this for loop into the arm assembly. So first understand how for loop works. The for loop first of all that it will initialize r0 is equal to the 0 okay then it will check whether r0 is less than 10 and if it is true then it will add r1 with the r1 plus r0 and then again it will increment this r0 one more time and then again it will check it whether r0 is less than 10 then it will calculate this value and henceforth okay so in our arm assembly program first of all that we have to load r0 with the 0 value so that here we can write move into the r0 a 0 value it is simply the r0 is equal to the 0 and then we can check whether the r0 is less than 10 or not so that we can here uh, compare it so that the CMP R0 with the 10 obviously it is less than 0 so yeah, obviously it is less than 10 here so the uh, now no, now if it is not less than 10 that's when if it is equal to 10 then compare it with the branch instruction that is the branch if not equal that is the BNE to the complete complete a level where the program will exit suppose that the complete is defined uh, suppose that the complete is defined at this place okay so and then branch to complete now if it is not equal to 10 then we have to add into the r1 so that here add r1 with the r0 Fine. and then increment the r0 that means the add r0 with the 1 and then come back to this place and check it okay so that the come back to this place and the check it suppose that let's give a label here the loop so again here the branch to the loop so the this place is check if r0 is less than 10 fine now this code will do if it is equal to 10 that's mean it will complete the code and it will exit from the execution otherwise this line of code will do the r1 is equal to the r1 plus r0 and this one will increment that is the r0 is equal to the simply the r0 plus plus and this one will loop back to check it again whether r0 is equal to the 10 or not fine now let's take another simple example a gcd now let's take one more example that is the greatest common divisor okay the greatest common division first of all that uh, write it into the C a normal very simple C program can be written as a while a not is equal to the B fine if a is greater than B that's mean a equal to the a minus B okay otherwise what we can do here is b is equal to the b minus a fine so it is a simple gcd program uh, we can check it suppose that uh, 
we have given a GCD number uh, let's say 6 and the 3 here the greatest common division common divisor is 3 okay so here the greatest common divisor is 3 how it will do now the a is greater than a is greater than b so that in the first execution what it will do a is equal to the a minus b that is that is a is equal to the 6 minus 3 that is equal to the 3 now you can check it the 3 and 3 both are equal so that it will return a are the b, a, b any value a r b that will be the same that will be the gcd value okay now let's convert it into the arm assembly code so here again what we will do we will compare this a and the b fine and then again we will compare it ki if a is greater than b then subtract otherwise subtract b subtract a from the b so that the let's start with the gcd it is 11 fine and first of all that the compare a with the b now here suppose that the a is stored into the r1 okay and the b is stored into the r2 okay this is our assumption okay so the cmp r1 with the r2 this line of code okay then now check it if it is equal okay then exit from the loop so that here b e q branch if equal to the complete part okay that will complete the our code and uh, we can define our complete at this place somewhere okay complete and then branch let's say again here only the complete fine now if it is not equal to b then uh, execute this line of code so that the branch now check now it is checking here the r1 it is comparing the r1 with the r2 so that again here check branch if less than branch if less than that's mean execute this part okay this part fine so the branch if less than to the another level that is the less than now, now let's define the less than here okay branch if less than then subtract now it is corresponding to the r2 this one is the r2 and this one is the r1 so that the here subtract r2 subtract the r1 from the r2 that will be the something like this one r2 r2 and the r1 that is, is equal to the r2 is equal to the r2 minus r1 and now come back to this okay then that means to come back to uh, uh, this line that is the compare r1 and r2 together this is r1 and this is r2 so that the here branch to the gcd now if it is not less than that's when branch if less than that's when execute this part now if it is not less than then execute this part that is simply the subtract r1 r1 from r2 that is r1 is equal to the r1 minus r2 and then branch to gcd now this is a simple program written for the gcd now here you can see uh, the code is very large 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 lines of code so what we are seeing here uh, this part of the code is written into the thumb instruction set okay so this part is written into the thumb instruction set now we can write the same code into the arm instruction set but the code number of instructions will be the very less okay so this is the thumb instruction set now let's write it into the arm instruction set okay in the arm instruction set we will start from the let's say divide it here the gcd okay compare it first instruction that is always same in both 
format the thumb and the arm compare it the r1 with the r2 and now subtract it if greater than okay subtract if greater that's mean this part so what we can use here s u b subtract if greater that's mean if r1 is greater than r2 that is corresponding to a and the b that's mean if a is greater than b then subtract b from the a that's mean the subtract if greater than r1 r1 and the r2 otherwise subtract if less than that's mean if r2 is less than from r1 that's mean this part okay that's mean subtract r1 from the r2 so that here r2 r2 and r1 and if these two values are not equal then come back to here that is a b and e to the gct now here clearly you can see that this code is written into the arm instruction set and this one is written into the thumb instruction set now let's compare the code size so here it is taking a 4 byte this one is the 4 byte this one is the 4 byte and this one is the 4 bytes so the total code size is here 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, plus 4 that is the 16 byte okay this is the code size here now let's check it what will be the code size here this one is the 2 byte the, this one is the 2 byte this one is the 2 byte this is also the 2 byte instruction set this one is the 2 byte and this one is the 2 byte and this one is the 2 byte so the here total code size will be the 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 that is the 2 2 4 6 8 10 12 and the 14 now what we are seeing here a thumb instruction set is taking a less code size however the number of instruction set is more in the arm instruction set they are compact but still they are taking a more code size so here we can conclude that thumb code size means the thumb instruction set is more dense than the arm instruction set that's when the code size density what we can make here uh, an, an argument uh, that argument I want to just make here thumb code density is more than arm code density okay thank you so much for watching and uh, subscribe this channel and uh, comment below if you have any confusion